Nick saying, is there too much power? You remember some kind of say? What? You no know, one man should have all that power. Yeah. It's like that. It's like you know what I'm saying? Bro, one of the first the first one of the first, you know, tellings of somebody selling their soul to the devil was a man who wished to know everything, to have all the information in the world. And he wanted to kill himself after he got there. What the hell is that? It's a story about the first nigga that sold his soul to the devil. Well no one know how far it goes is that. Wow. Damn, I think that story is bad long. The yeah. first man. <clears throat> it yeah. must have been like pre ancient times, shit. Sure. Like pre medieval shit, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was a certain time period the devil started making contracts, it seemed like he thought of it like, oh shit. He can make money off of you. Right, and not even make money, just get more souls. Yeah. But uh yeah. He came, but he hated that he did that because not for the fact of his soul, just what that price meant of knowing everything. Imagine knowing the girl you're with never loved you because you know so much information. Not because you went, because you know, because somebody told you she, she saw her fucking somebody, but because you can yeah, psych, 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 what? Are you saying anything? Are you talking about that one nigga, like how like, oh, that's a, his wife son, son, not knowing the girl, Oh yeah, imagine if you Because you, you could read body language And you could so, sociology studies And shit like that, psychological shit That's that's information And you could see that And you know it's the truth And then truth is like, it's just too much that it, it like what? Right, and it's just like It's that and everything, now, now you see that truth In everything though So the girl that you're with that you think you love, that loves you Never you loves you. you, you go to work You see what that's really about, you look at the world you see what the world, you know what the world really about. Like, you realize that there's nothing after this. There's nothing. There is nothing. We're all just one. Everything you ever told was a lie. That shit is unfathomable, bro. I'm telling you, bro, if Jesus came back today, niggas would jump out of buildings too. Mm, hell yeah. Yep. If aliens, if they really, if aliens really came on TV with the president, niggas would jump out of buildings too. Our feeble ass minds are not ready for a lot of things. I mean, I, I think I'd be dumb. Like, what? I mean, oh, where? Yeah, the aliens find kids. We the type of rats that, that are able to, like, watch it in a movie. You said? We the type of rats that are able to watch it in a movie. You know? Oh, me and you? Nah, just didn't. Nah, us as humans, like. Oh, yeah, We're facts. able to watch the shit in a movie, movie but not reality. real life, but not really be able to, like, deal with that shit if it actually happens in real life. Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to be some bullshit conspiracy theory, nigga. Fuck this shit doing in real life. Right. They didn't prep. They didn't tell me this was gonna happen in school. Dumb motherfucker. Right. <clears throat> or like, like the Inunaki come down. Can you imagine that shit. Yeah. They'd be like, they'd be like, yo, they'd be like, we're tired, we're, we're tired, you cooking human beings. Put you on this earth for you dumb shit and fuck each other over. They're like, we're done with our creation. Can you imagine that? Right. And then boom, everybody just gets erased. Everybody's like, yo, what the fuck? You, you ever heard of those inner earth civilizations? Yeah. But well, before we get into that, I'd like to welcome everybody to the hot box. You know what's your favorite baby daddy? Your boy hey, Josh in the back. Heard. We're gonna play some tools we on a little bit. We got what we, what we playing to we playing tonight, yo. I don't know, I'll give you my phone in a little bit. Alright, I got some good <laughs> shit for y'all, yo. You ain't gonna love me for this, yo. I can play this shit after you come home from work. Plays with your girl, your wife, you feel me? Make some love to her, you feel me? Give her that genuine love, that real genuine love, you feel me? That's that that's that old school love, you feel me? Like what you say about this inner earth shit? Oh, I remember last time. I saw like documentaries and that shit. What about like, in, in the earth civilization and shit? Yeah. Like I heard like there were like people, some dude I remember like in this show called you. It was like you ever um, saw that YouTube channel? The universe inside you? I heard of it, yeah. So there was like some shit where they were talking about how like um 
just set, not just set, yeah, just, um, yeah, you can say this traveler with nigga or whatever. Mm-hmm. He, like, had a whole, like, documentary or whatever or some shit. It's like, that how you know he went down inside of Earth and inner Earth. Mm-hmm. And he saw, like, you know, just, it was, like, this whole new race of, of people, you know what I'm saying? All right. Basically, something about the people there never ate or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That thing said like, from the water, when you drink from the water, you only need to drink from it one time, that was it. Uh-huh. Some wild shit. Like, yeah, if I'm correct, yeah. I was like, what the hell is going talking about? You know what I'm saying? Now listen. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you a story first. The first man to ever fly over the North Pole. The North person what? The first man to ever fly over the North Pole. Mm-hmm. Right, right after World War Two or whatever, right after the nuclear bombs, whatever that happened, right, atomic bombs. Uh, <coughs> hold on, <coughs> strong weed. <coughs> Already. <coughs> so yeah, the first nigga, the first nigga. To, uh, it's a sexy ass. first nigga to fly over the North Pole, mm-hmm. he said he got abducted, he got sucked into a circle that brought him to the center of the earth, mm-hmm. and some beings talked to him and told him how we need to stop dropping atomic bombs, and we need to stop ruining the earth, because we're affecting them and all this other shit, you know, <clears throat> he goes back, tells the government, you know that whole, you know the whole night after that. Right, bunch of bullshit though, right? Mm, crazy, right? Right, so that's one story. Second story. So after Hitler was in office in control, the new German president or leader in charge, whatever you call him, went read the files of some of Hitler's research. Now, apparently Nazis were doing multiple expeditions to Antarctica. And in Antarctica Hitler said that he fought an impenetrable fortress where there is still still mammoths walking around dinosaurs very large animals and bugs serious and tiger everything life luscious everything lush fucking swastikas now when I say swastikas I'm talking the Hindu swastika with the four dots <coughs> You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the old, old. Yeah, a lot of those sausages around. You could drink for the water, and not be thirsty for three weeks. <coughs> Sometimes months. Yep. And it's just, just like you just said. Like, <coughs> now, what? And, they, and, they, and it was blonde hair, blue eyed people that down there. Now look at Hitler and what he's doing. He tries to create a world of blue, blonde hair, blue eyed people. <coughs> he takes the swastika and tilts it 90 degrees. Make a symbol of hatred. <coughs> Making his symbol of him bringing his own paradise. Oh. <coughs> Making his own symbol of. Oh. Shout out to the city of New Haven. So listen, that. listen though. So he, th- what he was doing was making his own paradise on Earth, on the top of Earth, in the way. Mm. And that's why he was always obsessed with these mystics and with these psychics and these witches. You know, he was always trying to make this 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 magical weapon. And oh yeah, because he tried to make that time the time machine. Right? He tried to make a lot of shit, bro. Yes, yeah, so he was tapped into shit. I think I heard about a nigga trying to make a time machine. That yeah, shit like that, bro. Like. I wonder. I wonder how much more they're hiding from Hitler that we ever we don't know. Like they try to make Hitler seem like. Like I heard, I heard a bunch of other conspiracies too about Hitler too. Though uh, I heard he was trying to help black people. Yeah, I think that was the biggest one I heard. I heard supposedly like 
the Nazis, they claim that they're the last soldiers to try to defend us. Because they're from the Baltics. Nah, from the satanic Jewish cartel banking industry that controls us all today. They tried oh, to stop Oh, global? That. They tried to stop that? They tried to stop that, yeah, from that, because the Jews had all the control of the banks of currency. That's why I suppose That's crazy. He wanted to kill them all because he wanted to stop the banking system from controlling us, but... Man, so, niggas try to stop the banking system. That's so wild. Yeah, the police said Hitler tried... That's why Hitler... He was just talking about Andrew Jackson earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> Supposedly said he tried, he tried to stop that. Does it team Jewish making cartel in the street and controlling us? But I saw it on some conspiracy website. I also saw, I also saw too though. <coughs> Bosley, Hitler told like his one of his soldiers like I think on his last days. You, see, you saw that shit? Boy. And like he's like yo, America or like the world will never know who the real Jews are. Right. He was like, he was like they don't know who the real Jews of the earth are. And dude was like, what do you mean? <clears throat> it was like. Black people are the real Jews of the earth. He, he hated Jews so much, he found the truth. That's some shit. That's some shit, right? That's what I feel like. That's, that's, what, that's what I hear when I hear that. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like, he was like, oh shit, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he was like, wait, what? <laughs> the blacks? Are you serious? <laughs> like, are you serious, dude? They're the Jews. Why? I don't even hate them niggas. So I hate these niggas. Why do I hate these niggas? Oh, because of them niggas. <laughs> but I always wondered though, he never went to Africa though. No, nah, Mussolini did. Mussolini yeah. did. Yeah, you don't, don't think you can accept Josh bring you for your moves? Mm-mm. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I don't even call him. Fucking tired. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't even think he, um... But I'm surprised Taylor never did expedition to Africa though. Sure. We'll connect with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my nigga was fucked. Is that true or not? Does both that nigga was Jewish too? Or is there something like some debate about like they said like his maternal grandmother, paternal grandmother? Is that his, there? Hmm? Is that there? You think his grandma from his dad's side, his dad's mom was Jewish? <clears throat> Did some try to say he hated Jews because of his dad? Nah, but you know something funny about that nigga though? Wow. He still has family that's still alive today. I know. Like, yeah, he has family that lives in the U.S. You think that nigga changed your last name? Hmm? Yeah, yo. I remember I saw on History Channel one time. We were talking about that shit, right? Oh, hot boy. <clears throat> yeah, shit foggy as fuck. Facts, niggas. Like, welcome to the hot box, baby. Hi. Uh, first recorded. It's a second episode. Doc, first one documented. First one was just a little demo tape. <clears throat> Yo, but on some other shit though. What? I saw like on, on like in the history channel. That they were tracing back his whole like family tree and shit. Really? Yeah. They did that show on TV. Mm-hmm. History channel. Oh shit. They had they were they were interviewed his family. <clears throat> they couldn't, because the family won't talk about it. That's fucked up. They actually see. talking about He had some older cousin that looked old as shit. Dude was old though, you feel me? Yeah. I think he talked about it or whatever. Like yeah. they had him do like they had him do like an interview, but I don't think he really said much, but the nigga has family, but he lives like. <laughs> but, I, but I think homie lives like somewhere far out in the remote area, you feel me? Right. But he has family that lives here, though. But the family here, though, they refuse to do any type of talk, interviews, or anything with, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. They need to talk show hosts because they don't want to talk about that shit at all. Like, they're trying to forget that. <clears throat> that, that, you know, that dark history in their family. But I heard like his family that lives here though. They live in some like some small they live on a small piece of land. Like some cattle or whatever, you feel me? Yeah. They're the darkest secret though. That's crazy. But, yeah, Nick crazy has question. I know, but yeah, but Nick has family here though. Mm-hmm. But they don't, they don't talk to nobody. They stay they stay at my remote place. They don't talk to no one. Contact. The rest of the okay. What you think, Dad? What you think, Josh? About what? We back in the stew. You know what we came here to do. This bitch is crazy. She tried me saying the midday blues. Oh. Mm. She favorite baby daddy. Uh-huh. Brand new caddy. Watch out that baby mama try to stab me. 
Damn, she got a fatty. Good thing she wasn't baddie. Ooh. Grandma probably be proud. Mrs. Proud don't like too bad. She don't gotta live with the bitch. It's okay. I take care of the bitch. Let me change this top before I get my ass hit with the switch. <laughs> gas station gasoline in me. I'm feeling like sick though. <laughs> pack, pack me in the world with me. I follow wherever it go. Baby, I know I'm it now. And bitch, I got the whole globe. Bitch, I make the snow globe, and I shook the snow globe. So much goddamn cocaine on my damn nose, I'm looking like the top of the mountain. Bitch, it's Hannibal climbing up the Alps. You niggas at the top of the mountain, coming for my Roman soldiers. I'm still smoking dope with all this Roman doja. I'm smoking Ramadan just like a Roman soldier. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whatever. Queen Latifah, powerful female black rose, I watch them. <laughs> a powerful statement. That was, that was just a powerful <laughs> sentence. That's the powerful sentence. <laughs> Start rapping. We can't go in there, can't we? That'd be stupid, nigga. It'd be dumb, right? I need yeah, more just stuff. Stupid, nigga. That's like you going to your barber. It smells like you. It's like a whole pound. You remember that nigga? That nigga told me to get out. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He didn't say. He's like, <laughs> nah. He's like, yo, you make sure, yo, you don't smoke, you don't smoke all that good stuff, right? Right. Got kids coming here, nigga. You be fucking reeking nigga. early in the morning. Like, damn, nigga. <laughs> Like, you know I'm smoking before I leave the house. When I walk there or get there, I'm smoking. Like, <coughs> probably two, three, four blunts deep, nigga. <laughs> Dead ass. Like, I get high, nigga. Like, I be getting high. Nigga. Gas, nigga. This shit be stinking, nigga. Like, I be wearing hoodies and shit. All that smoke, my nigga. I faded. I'm just still stink. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the hot box, bitch. <laughs>